We are going to do one of every single set, 1,500 artifacts. We are about to pop off here like you have never, ever seen before. Boom. The standards in the stream are minimum 45 crit value, and then we aim for 50 crit value. It takes something stupid to unlock a really good off piece like this. The set I don't use. Great piece. If this rolls into over 40 crit value, I don't know if I'm going to be happy or if I'm going to be molding. This video, this experiment would be a huge W. Are you perhaps looking for another fantasy-based game with millions of active players as well as a bustling community? On top of that, a game that is consistent consistently updated throughout the year to provide more content and wait 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 that also has giga chance that you can create yourself that you see on the screen right now yes i know the name is omega lol dies of cringe but aside from the name my character in final fantasy 14 which is today's sponsor is an absolute giga chat look at this magnificent beast but it doesn't end there right now if you click the link in the description down below you can play the free trial up till level 60 level 60 for free using the link in the description down below thank you to final fantasy 14 for sponsoring today's video and i hope you enjoy what's going on guys atsu here today we are going to be doing the artifact strong box but because i have no one in particular i want to improve there's a lot of people rather i should say i want to improve we are going to do one of every single set yes including thunder soothers maiden beloved just to take a look what the rng is going to be like which one is going to turn out to be the best one i have no idea i have over 1500 artifacts which are not being used right now and they are mostly 99.99999 percent of them are all five star artifacts now you might be saying why don't you just fodder them well i don't really want to fodder artifacts for the sake of foddering them one that will decrease the amount of mora that i have and two i have no other artifacts that i particularly want to level up desperately right now so i want to get those god tier 45 and above crit rate value or crit value pieces crit rate and crit value combined together after you double the crit rate is how you work out crit value and i am of course joined by the planet of the apes down below as you can see this artifact piece is one i would keep and maybe level up down the line but it doesn't have crit rate on it so it's not one that is super high priority for me right now so once again if you don't know how to work out crit value you double your crit rate and then you add it to your crit damage why do you double the crit rate because crit rate is exactly half of crit damage the maximum crit rate roll you can get is 3.9 maximum crit damage roll you can get is 7.9 8 minimum is 2.7 and then the minimum for crit damage is 5.4 so that's why you just double crit rate that is garbage that is garbage that is garbage that is all garbage so gladiator not off to a strong start is there anything in here at all that i would level up actually this piece yes because i don't have good attack time pieces and i think this feather over here this one over here if that rolls crit damage it's actually a perfect feather for a lot of dps characters i wish i really 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 wish that one day hoyaverse adds a way to sort by get by date so that any new artifacts I get immediately, I would be able to find them. So if this rolls to 7.8%, that would be a Bellissimo. And just like that, it's not worth rolling for me anymore. The other piece that we got was the attack time piece. So I want to get crit rate on this one. Again, I don't have any realistic expectations. As you can see, these pieces all have crit rate and crit damage on them. So I'm saving them. Anything that doesn't typically goes in the bin ah energy recharge is not bad but it's not what we're looking for so unfortunately gladiator was a bust we didn't get anything special from gladiators but we continue wanderers is next up so this one in the bin in the bin in the bin my standard of course is quite high as you guys know i'm a very f2p player so i have my very f2p standards so hopefully we can find or unlock new pieces which have crit rate and crit damage all right we're gonna power through these wanderers troop which i don't really use i only use it on tignari right now but hopefully if we can get something crazy like that if this rolls into crit rate could be something special there nope oh see this is one one stat off if that defense was crit rate it would be a perfect feather or almost perfect 
Unfortunately, though, none of these pieces will replace the pieces I have on Tignari. So we go again. All these Dendro pieces that you see, by the way, I have been farming this domain specifically for Al Haytham, for Yao Yao, for Nahida, for basically all my future Dendro characters or characters that scale off Elemental Mastery. I would like to have good artifact pieces. Right now, I am on some extreme copium for my other pieces so unfortunately it's, it's not looking good and unfortunately we can't farm pieces from the artifact strongbox right now for our haytham because specifically i do want the gilded dreams artifact set so next up bloodstained chivalry now i did say i would do every single set this particular set is pretty much useful for absolutely no one it's not best in slot for anyone if i'm not mistaken but who knows maybe it takes something stupid to unlock a really good off piece like this. Crit rate, crit damage, elemental mastery. There is flat HP on there. But maybe this is the quirky, stupid thing you have to do to get your god tier artifacts. So that feather just now, does anyone believe? Oh, 3.5% crit rate roll. Not bad. Crit damage roll is on the low end. However, I think this is still worth taking to level 12. It's all crit so far. And just like that, it's in the bin. <clears throat> it is a max elemental mastery roll, but it's still not bad. You know, if this rolls into crit twice more, I can put this on any character that scales with elemental mastery and crit damage, and it will be a really, really good piece. For example, if this rolled 7.8% crit damage and also 3.9% crit rate, we would have over 40 crit value and also 47 elemental mastery. You know what? It could happen. 10.1% crit rate and 20.2% crit. You know what? It could happen. All it needs is a teeny tiny bit of belief, which clearly the Planet of the Apes doesn't have. But when I believe, when I believe in the 10.1% and the 20.2% crit damage, all it takes is a little bit of belief to help something or someone blossom. Who was here? Who doubts me now? This right here is a godlike artifact piece. Exactly as I called it. 10.1% crit rate, 20.2% crit damage with 47 EM. I do believe right now I actually have a bloodstained feather on my DPS Kazaha. And this, this is a straight up upgrade. The very first godlike piece has been obtained. A little bit unfortunate that it's on a set that I will never use fully. However, we, we move on to Noblesse. So, so far, Bloodstained Chivalry has one dub. Can we continue this into the other artifact sets, especially the ones that really matter, like Crimson Witch of Flames, the Hydro set, the Cryo sets? It would be really, 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 really good if we can get a piece like that on those sets no one in the chat believed which is why i was like you know what out of spite out of spite let's just do it let's just do it and see what happens no bless here we go terrible terrible nope terrible terrible ah oh, that's unfortunate if that was an elemental if that was an elemental stat this would be amazing not bad but i don't roll three three line noblesse anymore nope nope Again, not bad, but I don't roll three line the bless anymore. Here we go. Thundering Fury. This is one where I'm really hoping something huge comes through. I need pieces for Fischl. I need pieces for Yaimiko. I can still make my Seno better as well. There's a lot of Electro characters that could very, very much benefit from Thundering Fury. So hopefully we got something huge for Thundering Fury. All of these pieces so far, these Dendro pieces, all extreme copium. So we're going to say bye-bye to each and every one of these. Here we go again. Thundering Fury. Not what we're looking for. Crit rate, crit damage. Crit rate, crit damage. Crit rate, crit damage. Ooh, okay. Okay, there might be hope here. It's very slim. It's so slim. But we know from the Bloodstained Chivalry, when you believe... Here we go. All right, come on, crit rate. 
flat attack can be good. You know? It it can be... Yeah, this, this piece is done. <sighs> Guys, you just know there's gonna be a good piece from Thunder Suitors because ain't no one using this set. No one is gonna use this set and I don't want people in the comments to be like, actually, this set is best in slot under this circumstance. <laughs> it's too niche and no one uses Thunder Soothers. I don't want to hear any of that garbage, all right? No one is using Thunder Soothers unless you, you, you are just, you know, just one trying to be one of those people. Right, no one uses this set. We do not smoke that copium here. None of this nonsense. I just know it's gonna be a godlike thunder. I just know. I just know there's gonna be good thunder suitors pieces here. I will take a good off piece. Oh, ooh, if that had crit rate. Oh, this is still worth rolling. Oh. See, this is worth rolling as well. Because this rolls crit damage. Alright. Here we go. Is this going to roll crit rate? If it does, we're going to keep going. If it doesn't, it goes in the bin. Surely not. Okay, thank you. I didn't actually want to roll this piece. Is this going to roll crit damage? There's just no way. There's just no way this rolls crit damage. Interesting. Alright, Thunder Soothers Kaching it is, huh? Actually! Who, who's ready for my Thunder Soothers Kaching showcase? I hope everyone is excited. EM is perfectly fine as well. EM is still fine. You don't have to give me like this weird shred of little tiny bit of hope. I don't need this piece. It's totally okay for this to flop. Totally okay for this to flop. If this rolls into crit damage or crit rate, it's it's already amongst my off pieces, one of the best off pieces I have. Across all my characters, my time pieces are terrible. I barely have any that are even third above 30 crit value. I can't believe I'm doing this. This is thunder suit, this guys. Ain't no way this is going to 14.8% crit damage or 14 crit rate. This game cannot do this to me. That's actually such a good time piece. I mean, it's, it's basically 35 crit value with 42 EM. It's actually a really good time piece. So Bloodstained Chivalry, the set I don't use, a great piece. Thunder Soothers, the set I don't use, great piece. But where, where are the ones that I actually care about? We move on to the next one. Viridescent Venera. And I'm very, very scared, guys. I'm going to be very honest with you. I am very, very, very concerned right now that the one after Viridescent Venera is going to pop off. I am very, very worried that Maiden Beloved is about to yoink everything glorious from me. And I really hope that isn't the case. All right, Viridescent Venera. This is arguably the most valuable set in this artifact strong box. Can I get an Animo Damage Goblet, please? Or EM. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. So, oh, my God. Thank you so... Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, my... Oh, thank you so much. This... This is usable, guys. Energy recharge on an Animo set, you know, with EM. That's a good roll. It's not something I'm going to roll right now because I don't really need it right now. But in the future, maybe there's going to be another character I need because I already have a lot of energy recharge time pieces. But, you know, we'll, we'll lock that piece. Maiden Beloved. No, no, no. It's time for Maiden Beloved, guys. There's surely just no way we're going to go three in a row of set that I don't use or don't really like of having good artifacts come out of that. There's just no way. Tracy, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. Thank you so, so much. With Tracy's blessing. Could that not have been one set earlier? Could that not have been one set earlier? I can't believe this. Nah, this is messed up. <laughs> this is messed up. If this rolls into over 40 crit value, I don't know if I'm going to be happy or if I'm going to be molding. You know what? 
I would not even be that upset with flat defense or flat HP. I genuinely would not be that bothered. I see. Okay, flat defense. We'll roll it one more time. If it's not a crit stat, I'm not I'm not gonna keep rolling it. Okay, it's dead. Thank you. It's dead. This cannot be saved. It would still be one of my best goblets if this rolled to, for example, like 10% crit rate. It would actually still be one of my better goblets, but I, out of principle, refuse to level up Maida's Beloved. Archaic Petra. Now, not really a popular set. Archaic Petra is not very popular. However, as you guys know, I do like my Geo characters. All of them other than Yunjin leveled up right now. Uh, but I will level up Yunjin one day. But Yunjin, of course, isn't really like the traditional Geo character. She's kind of a support for non-Geo characters. So she's a, she's a little bit different. But Archaic Petra, of course, for my Zhongli, I would love to have a better better deep damage on Zhongli. My Aether would be nice as well. And for Ninkwan as well would be really, really nice. So hopefully we can pop off here. All right, this. And this. See, this might be good one day. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye. Here we go. This one, Geo Damage Goblet. Boom. Geo Damage Goblet. Boom. Okay. Potential. Zongli piece potential. This is my current Zongli timepiece. As 10.1% crit rate, 13 energy recharge, and 7.8 crit damage. I don't need the energy recharge. I don't really need the flat attack. So if we can upgrade this piece, this video, this experiment would be a huge W after everything we've been through, Hoyoverse. Through thick and through thin. The critical stats are. <laughs> It's still not over, guys, okay? My other piece, like, remember, my other piece did have flat attack. It just can't roll flat again. Okay? It's it's a minimum crit rate roll. Do I believe? Yes, I believe. I do believe. I do believe. I do. Oh, my God. It's a minimum crit damage roll. Okay, let me think about this. The crit rate can still hit 10.1%. And then on top of that, the crit damage can go up to 18.7%. Please roll into crit rate, please. I Not even crit damage, it has to be crit rate. I need crit rate, please. I If this rolls into 10.1% crit rate, it would actually be so nice. I would love to get an upgrade for my Zhongli. No! <laughs> no! No, we were so close, yes, so far. All right, we're down to our last one, two, three, four, five sets. Retracing Belide. Retracing Belide. How are you going to break my heart today? Retracing Belide. What? <laughs> Feels bad, man. Ay, <laughs> yeah, uh, so close yet so far. Okay. It's okay, guys. It's okay. I've, I've had worse experiences you know, game changing on the verge of becoming a game changing piece roles. I've, I've definitely had worse experiences, but that, that, that is, <laughs> that does feel bad. I truly believed from the bottom of my heart that I was going to get blessed there with a super useful piece. Retracing Belide is not an artifact set that I use anymore. However, I'm not opposed to getting good pieces for Retracing Belide. So if they want to come through, I will happily, 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 happily take them. Mm. If it rolls crit damage. If this had crit stats on it, I would actually be able to run this on Zhongli. Oh no, what I need would be physical, not Geo. Oh my god, why did I get so many elemental stats here? Nope. Crit damage on it. Do I really want to roll this? You know what? We already lost one Animo Damage Goblet. How bad could it be? All right, here we go. Critical Damage. Boom. Okay, Belide is nothing. Crimson Witch of Flames now. Crimson Witch of Flames. What have we got for Crimson Witch of Flames? 
All right, say goodbye to all of these pieces. If it's not attack main stat, then I don't particularly care for gladiators. Okay. That could be good as well. Fortunately. Hello? Hacker man, excuse me? <clears throat> I think my brother just logged into my account. <laughs> All right, sorry about those technical difficulties. Looks like someone logged into my account, aka my brother. So. All right, here we go. Crimson Witch of Flames is another super important one. Can we be blessed? Pyro Damage Goblet. Pyro Damage Goblet. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hoyo of us. Yeah, okay, very funny. Pyro Damage Goblet. Okay, winnable. Also winnable. <clears throat> okay, it doesn't look good. And I know what's coming up is a lava walker piece. And I have a feeling I know what's going to happen. But ignoring that and putting that aside, a crit damage roll is all we need. And all we need is a crit damage roll. So let's feed a crit damage circlet to get a crit damage roll, correct? Okay piece is now dead but when one piece dies it means it gives the opportunity of life to another piece and when that piece also dies it gives opportunity for for, la for lava walker to pop off please no hoyoverse you can't do this to me genuinely you cannot do this to me think about it hoyoverse just think about how much money i've spent on this game just think about it just think about it think about it think about it i know you're watching think about it take a step back i know you're sitting at the pc right now and you have like the little toggle switch of rng just you know crank that just crank that up a teeny tiny bit uh, after this after this not not for lava walker i think it's some about time for that streamer luck the, the very elusive and definitely real streamer luck there's surely no way that lava walker is going to be insane not after bloodstained chivalry and thunder soothers did that to me there's surely no way we're going to go three for three. Or rather four for four. Because Maiden's Beloved had that Animo Damage Goblet. These two are both... If these were on set, I would have rolled these. But you know what? I have principles. I'm not, I'm not going to... No, I'm not going to do Lava Walker. No, frick your Lava Walker. Okay, next up we have got Blizzard Stray. Okay, Blizzard Stray is another important one. I would love for Blizzard Stray to pop off. It would be absolutely phenomenal if Blizzard Stray could do me a big favor here because I don't have any good Blizzard Stray goblets. Blizzard Stray goblets, especially on set, would be incredible. I have good feathers and flowers. I don't have a good timepiece and I don't have good circlets for Blizzard Strayer. So I am quietly optimistic that Blizzard Strayer can hook me up. Let's feed a cryo goblet in for good luck. Blizzard Strayer. Okay. So far. Ooh. Potential. Ooh. Okay, I see it. I see it. Okay First off, you know what? Let's save the best till last as I was saying when crimson witch of flames dies It's so that blizzard straya could run Wait, how is this? Now, we're all defense percent, which is fine. It rolled crit rate once, which is also fine. No, 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 this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Okay, so this... Okay. The dream is dead. Wait, can this be saved? It could go to 10.1% crit rate and 15.5% crit damage. Okay, it, it, yeah. Mm, it's dead, guys. <laughs> it's dead? But it's okay, because we're going to get elemental mastery here, right, guys? We're going to get elemental mastery here, or flat attack. Okay. Defense percent scaling is perfectly fine because what that means is we're eventually going to get a character that scales off defense percent for cryo. Right now you have no capabilities. But ideally, if this goes into like 40 crit damage, that would be great. That would be delightful. It's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Oh, you know what? I'll take that. It's actually not bad. I'm pretty sure that's better than most of my circlets. All right, we have an upgrade. And last but not least... 
Heart of Death. This is the finale. Now is the moment that you have been waiting for. Is the 50 crit value piece of this video. I know each and every one of you who has been watching the stream, you're like, these pieces are all mid. Atsu's getting happy over like 30, 40 crit value. That's not good enough. And you're right, it's not good enough, guys. We have standards in the stream. And the standards in the stream are minimum 45 crit value. And then we aim for 50 crit value. We're not being greedy. We're just being ambitious. Ambitiose. Ambitiose. Hydro damage. There are days where this game makes me truly sad. Mm, this might be winnable. This might be winnable as well. No, 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 guys, it's not over. It's not over. There, there's not copium. If this rolls critical rate, it just needs a little tiny bit of critical rate, yes? Like this. If this rolls all into crit damage or energy recharge, no one comes to mind that I can use this for at the moment, other than maybe. It's not finished yet. It's not finished yet. Listen, 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 listen. listen. Ah, you see, you see, it's not finished yet. If I do this. All right, out of curiosity, I just have to know. I just have to know. I hate this game. Oh, would you look at that, guys? In this video, I have gained, you know, like maybe like three decent artifacts. I know some people are like, you gained nothing. No, 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 no. Because the video doesn't end here. Now I can finally go to town on this domain once again, start max refilling. Because before, I was like, oh, I need to get rid of all my fodder artifacts, which I finally done. And now I could finally go ahead and do what is most important right now, which is feeding Mr. Al Haytham, the most important character in the game, joint most important with Mr. Zong Lee. So what we're going to do right now is pop off here like you've never seen before. All right, we're going to pop off here like you've never seen before. Beautiful, 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 excellent scenes. My C0 Al Haytham popping off. And I know people are going to be like, Kappa, Kappa, stop capping. You're not C0 Al Haytham. Look, I'm still C0. All right, I'm still C0. And watch. I'm going to get something incredible. And we're going to end this video off with a bang. If this rolls all into crit damage or elemental mastery, maybe not for Al Haytham, but actually a good piece. Watch this, guys. Watch this. Keep, keep watching, keep watching. Keep, keep watching, keep watching, keep watching, keep watching. Ah! Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. We like that. Keep watching, guys. Keep watching, keep watching. Keep watching. Ah, 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 your eyes slip there for a moment. Keep watching, keep watching. We are about to pop off here like you have never, ever seen before. Boom. All right, close your eyes, guys. Wait, close your eyes. Keep them closed, and please keep them closed until I say you can open them again. Please keep them closed. Remember, keep them closed, keep them closed. Nothing to see here yet, nothing to see here. Keep them closed, keep them closed. Yeah, 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 keep them closed. Yep, 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 yep. Keep them closed, keep them closed. Editor San here, he forgot to say open your eyes, but you can open your eyes. Thank you so much for watching this video. I have been joined by the planet of the apes, the scammers, bonobos, bozos, baboons, and bozos as they witness this incredible, incredible timepiece. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And the moral of the story is...